Lord, thank you for bringing us out to the green woods this morning. And Lord, I pray that uh, you open our hearts to hear your word this morning as delivered by our brother John. I pray that your peace be upon him, Lord, and may the words that he speak be your words, and may you be pleased by them. Bless us now, and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I just wanted to share a little bit about what God has been teaching me uh, this past week here in Oklahoma. Uh, it's been amazing to work alongside all of you as we've worked on a new house and now we're finishing up work here at the Greenwoods. Um, as someone who's never done construction on a house before, I have definitely been learning a lot every day this week. So many new skills and techniques and information to absorb, but I'm really enjoying it. Um, as I was reflecting on this week, one of my favorite verses came to mind and I'd like to read it for you. It's on Psalms 127, verse 1. Unless the Lord builds the house, those who build it labor in vain. Uh, this verse is important to me because I'm a, I'm a doer. I like uh, getting things done. I like to plan things out and, and then carrying it out. Um, sometimes, however, I neglect to seek God first um, and ask Him what His will is in a particular area of my life before taking action. Um, but I've learned over the years that when I do take the time to pray and ask God for His guidance and wisdom, um, I end up having more peace um, about what I'm doing um, afterwards. So in the same way, when we came to Oklahoma to build with uh, Habitat for Humanity, we came with the intention of offering ourselves to God in order that He might use us to love and serve others. Um, and I could definitely tell, as I've been saying uh, during our worship times, that God has been present with us throughout this trip um, on the job site, on the road, at the church, um, while bonding as a team, uh, meeting new people, and even and strengthening um, existing friendships. So I just wanted to encourage you guys this morning uh, with the knowledge that God is in our midst. He has been showing me that He is with us and is guiding and protecting us and giving us the strength to build in His name and for His glory. Um, I wanted to end with another one more verse from uh, Psalms 94 verse 22. But the Lord has become my stronghold, and my God the rock of my refuge. So wherever we're from, wherever we live, whatever we do, um, if we trust in God and put our faith in Him, He promises that He is our stronghold and He will be our rock, our refuge. Let's, let's uh, pray. Father God, we just thank You that um, You give us Your Word. Um, your holy and perfect word, um, when we know that it's from you. And um, we just thank you um, just for encouraging us um, this morning, um, reminding us that um, that unless we put our faith in you, then really the things that we do uh, don't have much significance. Um, that um, when we when we uh, when we put put you first, and when we think uh, from an eternal perspective, then. Um, things that we do really, really do matter um, and, and last, uh, especially with, when, we, uh, when we love others and, and serve others in your name. And we just also thank you that um, when we do trust in you, that you promised you are our stronghold and you are a rock of our salvation. And so we uh, just continue to uh, commit ourselves to you and we pray and ask you for, for your strength and your guidance this day and uh, in, the, in the days to come. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you.